Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to make some sight words bingo cards using software called Bingo Card Printer, which you can download from bingocardprinter.com. Sight words are the words that uh, children or other people need to learn to recognize by sight uh, and read by sight rather than sounding out in order to achieve fluent reading of English. Okay, uh, this is the initial screen of the program. I click Create New Bingo Card Project and I have a choice of what kind of bingo card I'd like to create. I can use a blank bingo card and enter my own words. Uh, I can choose alphabet, numbers. I can choose uh, a predefined list of words based on school subjects like English, geography, history, science, math. Uh, I can choose events, words for baby showers or bridal showers, birthdays, or holidays, uh, which include words for Christmas, Halloween, Easter, St. Valentine's Day, and so on. Or in this particular case, I'm going to go to reading and uh, I have a list of options relating to sight words and phonics. Uh, Dolch sight words are the famous so sight words list devised by uh, Dr. Dolch uh, way back in 1948, still used today in education. And I also have some more sight words options lower down here where the sight words are subdivided into categories like easy, medium, and tough. Or I can choose a combined category, medium and easy, which includes all the words from medium and easy, or tough and medium, which includes all the words from tough and medium. Uh, now, in this particular case, I'm going to click on Easy. I either uh, double-click on it or click on it once and then click OK. And on the left-hand side, my list of sight words appear. Uh, in this particular template, they're in alphabetical order. My sample bingo card has the uh, words in the same order as on this window on the left. I can uh, edit the word list, so if I want to add in a new word, perhaps I'd like to word, add the word after. I can simply type it in, press return, and it adds on the bottom of the list. Um, the initial list was in alphabetical order. Any new items I add will appear at the bottom, but I can actually resort that into alphabetical order if I want to keep them in alphabetical order. In fact, there are quite a lot of different options for manipulating this word list. Uh, I can also delete items I don't want. So if I don't want the word uh, all to be on there, for example, I highlight that and then click the delete button, and I can use that to customize my word list. Uh, when I'm happy with the word list, I then can now start having to think about the bingo cards. Uh, the default bingo card in this case is a 5x5 five five bingo card, but I can make a smaller bingo card like a 3x3, 4x4, 5x5, which of course is what I started with, 6x6, six six, or even 7x7. Seven seven. Um, obviously I need to have enough words to actually fill out the larger bingo cards. If I haven't got enough, there'd be some blank spaces, which would mean the bingo card wouldn't be complete. But in this particular case, I, ha I would have enough for 5 seven by 7 but I'm going to use 5x5 five five so you can then see a bit more easily what's going on. Um, I can also uh, turn on and off this heading here, turn it off or on. I can change what the heading might say. So instead of saying bingo, I could make it so it's not to say words. Uh, I can choose whether or not to have a special free space square in the middle of the bingo card, and I could also change the text of that. If I go to the format menu, I'll find I've got options for um, customizing the appearance of the bingo colors, for example, the fonts and colors. Um, if I go to uh, change the heading color, perhaps we'll make the heading uh, red with uh, yellow text. Uh, we'll make the lines um, green, and we'll make the free space uh, maybe pink. And I could also, there are options for making a checkerboard pattern and so forth, the colors on the big card. So we'll try that as well. We'll make the squares white and yellow with a pink free space. There's an example of what the um, color bingo card might look like. If I wasn't happy, I could go back and change that. I can also change the fonts for the heading, for the uh, squares, and for the free space, each one uh, individually. Um, but we'll say that I'm happy with the appearance. I'm now ready to print. OK, so let's look at the printing options. These are on the right-hand side here. First option is whether to print a call list or not. Call list is basically this list of words in random order uh, printed out on a separate sheet or sheets. It's very useful if you're a teacher and you're acting as a bingo caller and you want a printed reference to the words that you're going to call out. Um, if you don't need it, you simply uncheck it. If you want it, you leave it on. I'll leave it on in my demonstration so you can see how it works. If you're not using it, you could, of course, choose the items to, to uh, call out as a bingo caller yourself somehow. Or there's an option in the program, which I'll show you at the end of the video, where the software will help you pick items at random if you're choosing uh, during gameplay which items to call out. I can also choose um, how many bingo cards to print per page. I can put more than one bingo card on a page. Very useful for printing a lot of bingo cards. I put several on a page, and I could print the same number of bingo cards on less paper. 
the disadvantage is I might have to cut the paper up to give one bingo card to each player. Uh, and also, each individual bingo card will be smaller. Obviously, if I have four bingo cards on a page instead of one, uh, each bingo card can't be quite as big as if there were one on a page. But so I'll leave it on one for my demonstration. And how many bingo cards do I want to print? So, for example, in a classroom situation, you might want one per student. Uh, you might need more than that in some other situation. And you can put it in whatever number you need here, between 1 and 9,999. So I assume I've got a fairly large class. I've got 50 students, and I put 50 as my example. Now I'm ready to do print. I'm in fact going to do print preview, so you can see on screen what the printout would look like. First page is the call list. That's the list of words in random order. Because the, um, uh, put the number of words is quite long, it's actually gone into a second column here. So there's a first column, second column. If necessary, go to a second page and so forth. Uh, but uh, there's the list of words. I'll zoom out so you can see the whole page, and then we'll go to the next page and see the first bingo card there. And you'll see the words have been randomly selected and randomly arranged around the bingo card. And if I click next, you'll see the second bingo card is different, and the third one is different, and so on, up to all 50 bingo cards. Every single one is different. So it's a very quick way to produce lots of unique bingo cards with quite a minimal amount of effort. Um, OK, I'll. Um, close the window now and um, I'll just show you one other feature from the main screen which I mentioned earlier. Um, the software includes an option uh, as an alternative to the call list where it can help you choose items uh, during gameplay uh, if you're the bingo caller and basically what it does is you do call game and it will choose one item at random here, display it uh, on the left hand side and the right hand side. This is the current item. This is the current item and any previous item. So when I check, click next, I'll get a new current item, which becomes a top item here, and the previous item becomes a second item, and so on for the third item, fourth item, so on. And eventually, a scroll bar will appear on the left-hand side. So that's another way that you can call items out if you're the bingo caller. OK, uh, that's it for this video. The software is called Bingo Card Printer. You can download it from bingocardprinter.com. It's compatible with all recent versions of Windows. There's a free trial download which you can try out. If you like it, you can then register and upgrade to the full version of the software. Full version of software allows you to do everything that you've seen in this video and a lot more. Both the free trial and the full registered version of the software uh, include hundreds of templates for ready-to-use bingo card activities. So I uh, hope you like it. Go and download the free trial, try it out, see what you think. The software is called Bingo Card Printer. Website is bingocardprinter.com. Thank you very much.